What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy new release day, guys. 2022 Bowman Chrome Baseball Hobby Edition is here, guys. HTA version releases on Friday, but today we have Hobby, and we've already sold out a couple Pick Your Teams, including this one here. Pick Your Team number one. This is a 12-box case. Remember, guys, remember, all card ship. Find two Chrome autographs per Master Hobby boxes. And uh, let's get this started, guys. So, again, we had a little uh, team random that helped sell out. Uh, helped sell, sorry, blah. Uh, sold out Picker Teams 1 and 2. So, um, there's that right there. So, you have a character sign. That means you won that from the team randoms. Everybody else bought in straight up. So, number 2 is coming up next after this. And it is a 12-box case. Now, Picker Teams 3 and 4 is also in the same boat. It's in a team random. Started off with 23 spots as well. And we're already down to 14. So, we've already sold 9. So by the time I think we get both of these picker teams done and uh, the World Cup soccer box done, I would assume that we'll probably have the next one also sold out too. Toronto? Blue Jays? Number one? Is that correct? This copy and paste was already there. I can double check for random teams, but Pikachu teams a little harder, but... Good thing is that, of course, you have the proof and it was wrong, then always just change the name. Most likely, just to kind of help this go by a little faster, let's rip like half this case open and then we'll go through the hits. So I believe this should take me only about like 45 minutes. I believe it's going to take me about 45 minutes. Um, but I think to give myself time to put the break away, print out labels, upload video, an extra 10, 15 minutes would be perfect timing. No problem, man. Good luck. So yeah, I had this little cheat sheet. I was kind of studying up on some of these players, or at least the names, to look out for. So there's quite a few that people consider a pretty good prospect to look out for. You know, I guess some people are into Reed Trimble, I believe, for the Baltimore Orioles is pretty good. Uh... Rafaela for the Red Sox. Ricardo Cabrera for the Reds. Uh, Jason Shurio for the Guardians. I think is a big prospect. That's why the Guardians are so expensive, probably. Young Kiel Fernandez for the Rockies. Of course, you have Bobby Witt in here. Rain Don Doncon. Dodgers is not bad. Roderick Arias is a pretty good one, for, I guess, for the Yankees. Jackson Merrill for the Padres. Julio, of course, is in there. Wander Franco. Vaquero for the Nationals, I guess, is a big one. You even have Brady House in here as well. There's a couple of players. I forgot who they were, but they might have already been a first. Uh... They might have already been a first, but this might be their first time as an autograph. So, look out for some players like that. And yeah, a lot of a lot of crazier names, right? I feel like than most years. This isn't like your normal normal draft class. And it's never like something very simple, right? You know? I mean, I get it. a lot of these players are more international, especially like from the Dominican Republic, a lot of Latino, you know, countries. So you'll have some of those players like that. But then, of course, you'll have like other ones, you know? That'll just be like, well, I haven't heard a name like that in a while.
All right, so we'll rip these four, these first six. All right, looks like Canada, Belgium is back. I know this is a baseball break, but you know, World Cup time right now. Kind of hard not to talk about it, right? Anybody watch some of the morning games? I woke up to uh, to Spain winning seven nothing today. Gavi scoring a goal. I think there was even a hat trick in that game. How about Japan? 2-1 over Germany. The sport books here in the, in the States are probably just eating right now. They're feasting. Off of Argentina the other day, now Germany this day. Also, I believe we do also have like a top of the list only, like kind of sleeve list. So, just remember, guys, you know, for top loading, obviously, you know, we can't top load every single prospect, every single rookie. So, we kind of just stick to the main ones. Now, of course, you know, there could be some that maybe we could have missed, or, or maybe later be like, oh no, that guy's really, really good. But this is what we're going to be top loading only. And I like to say it just for you guys, just so you guys know. So, don't be shocked if. Your first that you think, of course, is top load worthy is not. So I think our list is just going to be Julio, Wander, Bobby Witt, Baniel, Neil Cruz, Spencer Torkelson. And then you're going to have the Vaquero from Washington. You have Roderick Arise from the Yankees. Shirio, Yasir Mercedes, Yankel Fernandez, and Jackson Merrill. Now, this is just the list we were given. So... If uh, I miss anything, obviously, when the shipping team, of course, goes through the stuff and sorts it out for you guys, if they see those names, they'll most likely, you know, throw a sleeve and topple on them as well. I have what? My parents are on their way right now. Really? Yeah, they were trying to surprise us. Oh, really? So yeah. Just got their location, and she called them. They're like, no, we're not. It's funny. Yeah, so they're driving to the apartment. So they're at six. They'll be there at 6? Oh, okay. Then so when you guys get there? Yeah. So this should be here exactly at 6, so. Okay. Oh, exciting. Well, I, I can most likely let them in, too. Well, they don't have to download the app. What is it? No, I, it just sends them a text message, and then it'll open up like a virtual key, I believe. Oh. I could test it on Jessica when she gets here. Also, I believe they still have Invictus in this as well. Arizona Fall League Relics. And I believe the case hit is a uh, Ascension still. Alright, they still put those in here, I think. No, I mean, if I miss anything, honestly, I mean, the sorting team is really good at, at ma making sure that we, if we miss something that's not, like, let's say if I miss a Julio rookie or something like that, and it's not penny sleeved at least for them to top load, then 
in the sorting process when they have them per teams and they'll do it. But kind of just always like to announce what we decide to top load or what Jaspi decides to top load because you know top loading after a while gets pretty expensive. But um, but no, I know you're messing with me, but it's just like you know that's just the way it is. Obviously, if you feel differently, then I mean obviously that's your choice, but. I mean, I would really doubt that there's a lot of people out there that are top loading every single thing, sleeving every single thing, because, you know, like I said, supplies are probably is one of the most expensive things that's gone up since the pandemic. So, obviously, we try to be fair and try to, you know, take care of you guys as well. But that's, of course, just for, like, the base cards, you know. Obviously, if it's numbered, autographed, you know, Short print, whatever the case may be, that's always going to be top loader for you. But it's just more for the base cards. Because, you know, maybe right now they're going to sell for $5, 10 15 $20. But as this goes out into the market and floods the market, you know, right now this could be selling for, let's say, $15. Bucks and just, but by the time a few weeks passes, this might be only like a $5 card, maybe even less. Kyle Tucker, number to $4.99. And then we got, it came to the leak. Looks like a very interesting insert. Let's see this list. I might have to get used to this list. Young Gil Fernandez, okay, we got that. I got a Juan Soto blue. Number two, 150. Usually they have it over here, but this time the number is on that side. It's a little different. Jose Ramirez purple. To 250. And first autograph is JT Schwartz for the Mets. That's Ed. Wilfred Veras. I think these are one per box shimmers, so those won't be numbered. And Khalil Watson. These are kind of like the throwback, I believe. Bowman. Oh, actually, sorry. No, this is the Bowman Ascension, actually. So I think those are one per box, aren't they? Or are they one per case? I think they're one per box. But I could be wrong. Pete Armstrong. I feel like there's a lot of numbered cards for a box of Bowman. Chrome this year. And Moribol. Or Moribol. Jason. That's another way to spell Jason. Jason. <laughs> it's exactly what my grandma Carmen, my uh, my mom's uh, mother, on my mom's side, uh, my grandma, would call me. She'd be like... Because Jason is not your typical, like, Mexican-Latino name. <laughs> but, uh... They would say, like, she would say JC, or she would say that Jason. So there's the first box. All right, next box here. Denzer Guzman. Sal Freelick. And Khalil Watson Bowman Ascension autograph. How about that? That's numbered 100 of 100. Who has the uh, Miami Marlins? Matthew Linder. There you go, man. Madrigal to four ninety nine. Colson Montgomery.
Jose Miranda. And Alex De Jesus. All right, next box. We got a Roberto Campos, and that looks red, doesn't it? And it is a three out of five red for the Detroit Tigers. Matthew Stubblefield, there you go, man. We got Eddie's Leonard. That's to 199. Blaze Jordan Green and then we got a Bowman Chrome Prospects autograph blue way rave refractor parallel of William Borgala which is for the Phillies and that's uh, Phillies uh, Ben Smith another Invicta there Jay Allen. Simone Juan. And a Mason Hour. That's to 250. Bowman's first purple. Tampa Bay Rays going to Timothy. Nice Christian Vaquero. 299. Rosny Contreras. To 499. Lonnie White. Ortega and Alexander Ovalis. Christian Yelich to four ninety nine. Chris Bryant. Sal Frelick. And Luis Chevalier. Mac Muncy. And Bowman Ascension, Wilman Diaz. Willie Vasquez, that looks like a yellow. To 75. And Samuel Munoz for the Dodgers. I know, right? I, I remember a guy named Chris Bryan for the for the Cubs. Uh, 
You know, fun fact about Chris Bryan, Mike, is uh, me, Nick, uh, Mike, I think Joe was there too. That was the first year we all went to the National, right, in 2015. And a fun fact about that is we went to Chris Bryan's first game uh, as a Cub there in, uh, in Chicago. And uh, they were losing... So we ended up leaving a little early. Actually, not first game, sorry. It wasn't his first game. It ended up being the first game he homered, and it was a walk-off home run, too. But what I was trying to say is we left the game early, like I think in the eighth, because we were like, ah, they're not going to win. So we started leaving, and then the ninth comes up, and I think they have like a runner on base. And as we're walking out, we hear like the ball be hit, and then people start screaming. And then it was Chris Bryant hitting a walk-off home run <laughs> to win the game. And I'll, we always pre, we always like to say to pretend like we say, oh yeah, we were there for that, but we technically were. We just didn't witness it because we were leaving. Matt Olson. Well, Mariners would have a mixture of of course of Julio. Uh, um. But obviously, Dodgers, I assume, have more prospects maybe than the Mariners do. So it's kind of, you know, uh, kind of just depends on how you feel about the hobby. Like, do you like to collect prospects or do you want to try to hit potentially rookies? You're Lynn. Jose Ramirez. Well, yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I, honestly, if you go back to that game, I think you would agree that it was kind of just boring. It, they weren't going to win, basically. It was like a low-scoring game, and I think for us, I mean, we still had to go back, you know, about an hour away just because we probably had to wait for a uh, rental Uber and shit like that. And, and by the time we get back to Rosemont and hotels, and we got to wake up super early for the next day of the National, we were just like, ah, eh, whatever. We came to a game. That was cool. But, yeah, then he ended up hitting a walk-off, and it's like... And it was just exactly as we were leaving. But yeah, that's just a good example, right? It's like, if you're going to leave in the ninth, like, the top of the ninth, you might as well just stay for the bottom, right? I mean, because you really don't know what could happen. But, um, I mean, we were there. Just, we were just hearing it as we were leaving. Alright, so there you go, guys. There's the first couple there. What does everybody, uh, did anybody travel to like a different state to go visit family for Thanksgiving guys? Or did, is everybody, everybody gets to stay in their own, their own city and maybe they came to visit you. I'm thankful that I don't have to do nothing like that yet. Cause you know, I, I never know. Right. I mean, if I ever move or family moves out of the state, but I feel like it's such a hassle to do that. The only thing I ever had to do is just, just kind of split families up and. First half go one side, second half go the other. And tomorrow, do we have, do we have three football games again tomorrow for Thanksgiving? I know we always have the, the Lions and Cowboys, but is there still a third game at night? I don't know, man. I'm kind of, kind of want to take the Lions to upset the Buffalo Bills, just straight up money line.
He's not playing tomorrow, Deep Porter? You mean off just like he hasn't been himself? I just I just think I I feel like taking him because Detroit at home this year has played really well and regardless who they've been playing, besides the Patriots game, they score points on defenses. I mean, not to say Buffalo's defense is not good enough. But um you know, they score points. It's just more like will they you know, will Buffalo outscore them, which they should, but I mean like I said, I feel like them at home is always not a bad bet. I mean, especially... You know, I'm sure you're going to get, like, what? They're probably favored by, like, 7.5, 9.5, I assume. So, of course, you could take the points, but... I'm just thinking more like a straight-up deal. They've been rolling, too, as of lately. It's crazy, man. If you go look at all the Lions games this year... Every game, I think, minus the Patriots blowout, has been, like, under 5, 7 points, I think. Less than a touchdown. But yeah, you're right. He just hasn't been himself forcing stuff. Yeah. I don't know. That Eagles game was a little frustrating to watch this past weekend. But I do love that, again, with adversity up against them, you know, they were able to come back and beat the Colts. And again, Jalen Hurts has another strong game. I hate that, of course, he had like a strip sack. Because, uh, you know, he was just kind of waiting for the longer play to develop. And Miles Sanders just couldn't hold his block for that long. But, I mean, again, played a pretty darn good game. Great passing. Accuracy. It's just, of course, again, this week, besides Quez Watkins last week, A.J. Brown had a fumble. When they had all the momentum to come back earlier in the game. But... I can't believe that was their first... Uh, first win when trailing for by more than 10 points in the first quarter since 2010. That was the last time the Eagles have won a game when they were trailing by more than 10 points. 10 or more points in the fourth quarter. And that game that they won back in 2010 happened to be the Miracle in the Meadowlands. Uh, number two into Sean Jackson. Did that walk-off punt return. But they were trailing by more than 10 points, though. But I think in the fourth quarter, it was only 10. I remember that game was like 24 to 3 or something like that. Hey, what's up, Harold? Are you ever going to be a Californian? The Californians. Times, man. What did so? So then you're not here, right? So did did you like get? Did you, did you still have that house that you're releasing, run or did that? Did you like give that up already? Because it's just been too long. How much, how, how much is it? Got some good tenants. Marina Del Rey. I love that little area though, Marina Del Rey. My wife went to LME right there, so. Always used to be in that area. 
Just a little bit expensive though. <laughs> Three K a month? Well, what, what? That actually doesn't sound that crazy, actually, Ryan, for that area. How, how many bedrooms or what, what? What's the deal? Kick them out, Ryan. I'll go there. <laughs> I mean, I love where I live in Long Beach in downtown, but Oh, I feel you, right? I mean, just in case the move happens, at least you still have a nice place in the meantime, and rather get something back rather than, than nothing, right? But I was gonna say, I was like, 3000 for like a multi bedroom potential house or a condo, whatever the case may be. I thought it would be a lot more there, for sure. All right, you guys, here you go. Here's the next six. Here we go. We got uh, Trey Sweeney. We have Jackson Job. Oh yeah, two two bedroom, one and a half bath. Yeah, that's if it's like if it's like thirty four, you know, a little bit more than that. That's pretty much what it's going for. Woo! I don't know if this guy's any good, Jaden Rudd, but that's an orange to twenty five though. And we'll take that there for uh, D Porter. Invicta Noel. Dominguez. We have West Calf. Yep. Today's Hobby and on Friday's HTA. And we got a Bowman Chrome Prospects autograph of Leonardo. Leonardo, sorry. Uh, Balcazar for the Reds. I don't know why my focus is off a little bit. It's weird. Might be the camera. Usually, the focus is always pretty well. Brian Acuna there as well. We have Dustin Harris. We got a Henry Davis. That looks like a weird color. It's like a mixture of like turquoise and pink. It's numbered at 125. Yeah, the, I, will, I must say the color does really pop. Michael Garcia to 499. Joe Mack. Job. Josh Lowe to 
275. And Wu Bin, uh, Bin Cho to 250 for the St. Louis Cardinals. Robert. Willie Vasquez. Balcazar. So let's say he just didn't sign his autographs, but it's basically what it'll be like. Emmanuel Valdez. Astros. All right, we got Zach Deloach, which is a Arizona Fall League relic. Or not relic, but numbered card for the Mariners. And what? Balcazar couldn't sign his prospects autographs, but he signed this one? What the hell? So what, did he only sign X amount? Oh, you know what? He didn't sign his base prospect, but he probably signed his numbered cards. That makes sense. He's like, I don't got time for uh, signing a thousand of these, but I'll have time to sign the numbered cards, though. Alrighty, next box here. Yendri Rojas. That's a green shimmer. Should be number to 99. Oh, looks to save. Wow, what a save. Max Muncy. Dylan Dog. Novelli Marte to gold to fifty. And Drew Ellis, rookie. That's yeah, her first rookie autograph. Two boxes left, guys. All right, see some potential nice colors. William Borgola. For the Philly, that's a one per box shimmer. Vidal Brujan orange. Damn. That was a little bit of a teaser there. Raise Timothy to 25. And Daylin Lyle. That's for the Washington Nationals. Springer. Luis Angel Acuna. And Cho again.
West Cal. Drew Baker. Alexander Suarez. Jose Altuve. All right, last stack here, guys. Good luck. Looks like we potentially might have a numbered autograph. I don't know if that purple is going to be a numbered card or just an autograph. Most likely just a numbered card, I guess. Luciano. And Jake Rucker. Alrighty guys, and there you go everybody. That was the break. So just a quick little autograph recap. Rucker, Suarez is an autograph there for the Giants. Uh, we have Cho for the St. Louis Cardinals. Redemption there. Balcazar for the Reds. Valdez for the Astros. Dodd for the Braves. Ellis for the Diamondbacks. Daylin for the Nationals. Balcazar again there. Cho again. Garcia for the Kansas City Royals. Orange Rudd for the Toronto Blue Jays. Um, Yerlin there for uh, the Reds, Cooper Bowen for the Yankees, Chevalier for the Seattle Mariners, Munoz for the Dodgers, Ovalis for the Tampa Bay Rays, Contreras there for the Pirates, Mason Hour for the Tampa Bay Rays, Borgola for the Philly, it's a blue, Red Compost to five, Khalil Watson, De La Jesus for the Dodgers, Schwartz for the Mets. Uh, Yason there for Texas, and then there's another Ascension there. And of course, we have a lot of numbered cards. I'm going to kind of separate those right now, too, as well. Numbered, and then, of course, just the other ones that we sleeved up, just to kind of have a little protection towards them. But a lot of numbered cards in this, though, guys. Like, a lot. That stuff there. This side over here too, some numbered number. Yeah, appreciate it, guys. Uh, next one is coming up. It's number two.